This is the free gift that comes with it. It is the, uh, the, the helmet and pads, but what the hell am I supposed to do with this? I mean, I, I'm so, I need the main part that I paid for. I What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of SV Cruiser. Uh, today, it's a pretty decent day, kind of comfortable outside, but there's some stuff I wanted to actually talk to you guys about. Um, even though that everybody is like, stay at home and be safe, which I totally encourage, um, you can go a little bit stir crazy. So, uh, lately, I've actually been trying to get some things together, uh, a little you know, scooter set up for my hoverboard, uh, so that my nephews can ride it and then also I've got some other developments for the channel and now I did have one thing show up today and it was part of the uh, the hoverboard or the yeah the hoverboard scooter conversion not scooter but the go-kart conversion this is the free gift that comes with it it is the uh, the, the helmet and pads but what the hell am I supposed to do with this I mean I I'm so, I need the main part that I paid for. I, I didn't want the helmet and pads. I don't need that stuff. Because, you know, safety and all. What fun is that? Anyway, I digress. I'm waiting to see if the other half of that comes in. If it doesn't, then I'll just take care of that later on. I'll either call the Postal Service or I'll... If they can't find it, then I'll just go online and buy another one. So, that's whatever. My main problem for today's video is uh, is my bike uh, has decided not to run right for some reason. Three hours later. Uh, let me demonstrate. Now this is, it's a cold start. I haven't turned it on or anything. This is my first time doing it, so. And it, it's it's running on one cylinder right now. Okay, I'll turn this on. I'll do its normal thing, like usual. I should be able to push this, and, and it fires up without messing with the throttle. Oh, now you want to run right. Yeah, but you'll hear it. It'll it'll cut off one of the cylinders, and it'll run real rough. So I'm starting to think that uh, my spark plug might be an issue. Seriously, dude. Okay, so <laughs> this is a bust. It wasn't running right the day before yesterday and the day before that. Uh, it only ran on one cylinder, but right now it seems to be running on both. I don't, I don't get that. <laughs> Which, in a way, is good. I like it. Um, I'm thinking it's mainly because the bike just hates the rain and it cannot stand getting wet. And I think that the forward... Uh, the forward cylinder, whenever it gets wet, it actually starts having problems. So, ultimately, I just, uh, I may change it out or something. I don't know. So, anyway, uh, I got a uh, notification in the mail, let me know, or on my email, saying that my spark plugs that I purchased should be at the mailbox. So, let's go check that out and see if they've arrived. Alright, so, let's see. If, uh, if my spark plugs have come in. Yeah, it looks like it. That on with a bunch of other mail. Oh, a whole bunch of other stuff. Cool. Good. I can't do this one hand. Oh, we got challenges. A lot of important stuff. Cool. All right, y'all, now that the plugs finally came in, let's go ahead and get to work.
to show you guys a, a quick little part. Uh, this is the uh, cylinder two, which is the one closest to the seat of the motorcycle. You can clearly see it's got, it's pretty white, really charred, which is fine. The one on the left is the brand new one, so that's the comparison between the two. So let's go ahead and uh, install this new one and move to the front of the bike. Since I'm already here, I might as well uh, go ahead and check out this air box and uh, check my air filter and for the most part, you hold up the sunlight. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. That's clean. Not bad. See, uh, the key to keeping a clean filter, which, by the way, this is a Canon oil filter, uh, air filter, and I have a Canon oil filter on the bike, so I make sure that this bike stays pristine. But uh, the easy tip, uh, whenever you don't want to suck up a whole bunch of dirt and uh, dust, especially when you're going through... Um, construction zones uh get off the throttle i mean don't don't sit there and, and gun it i'm sorry <laughs> i'm trying to get this on here right don't like full throttle it through there or don't rev it or anything just let the bike idle through and it won't pull near as much dust or dirt into your filter i mean the same goes for your car i mean if your car is you know going through a construction zone just idle through it guys I mean, it's not like you're supposed to be going fast through a construction zone anyway because, you know, the law. But I'm just saying, help keep your vehicle clean by having good driving habits. All right. Let's go ahead and button this up and head on to the front for the Ford Cylinder uh, spark plug. I felt like I got the uh, front spark plug out, and that's just the condition that I get every single time. I mean, the, the design of the engine throws water up inside that cylinder, uh, well, in, basically in the cylinder well, not cylinder well, in the spark plug well, and then it just fills with water and it starts to rust the outside of the spark plug. So I don't know what the deal is, but just it's a crap design. I never did like that part of it. Everything else about the bike is fine. It's just the fact that I just happened to get this. So I'm thinking that that had a lot to do with uh, with some misfires, um, and it's it's very possible. So let's go ahead and throw in the new uh, spark plug and uh, and see what the results are. are changed I went ahead and I checked the uh, the air filter and it was clean I'm good to go I haven't fastened everything down yet so let's go ahead and give it a first start everything should be all reconnected and good to go so let's see what happens okay fingers crossed faster than that. I don't know about that. It doesn't sound like normal. Hmm. What am I missing? What am I missing? Ah! Alright, so I'm sitting here trying to figure this out. Think, 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 think. Why is it not running right? You know what? Oh my god. I wonder. I can't do this with two hands. I don't know with one hand. What? 
Oh, I, I know what's wrong with it. I forgot to plug in a spark plug. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm such a dunce. Let's try this again, shall we? And it's all plugged in. Really, Scott? Okay. Officially, the back plug is plugged in and the front one is done. That's why it was running that way on one cylinder. Well, at least I know the front cylinder is firing. <laughs> oh, that's so much better. That's what I was listening for. Sounds good to me. I'm going to take it for a spin down the road after I clean all this up, put the seat back together, and uh, I think I'll end up calling it a, calling it quits. All right, so now that I got all that wrapped up, I got the, the, the front plug done, I got the back plug done, I checked the air filter, everything on that's good. I checked my fluids and my radiator, that's good. I'm just going to put the seat back on, tighten up the chain, and uh, and call it a day. I think that should be, uh, should be wrapped for it. So anyway, with all that said and done, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the content of this video. If you don't mind, like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, don't forget to hit your notification bell on the top right hand corner of your screen. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you guys watching another episode of SP Cruiser. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.